I'm making a simple sauce. Now, my father used to call it a marinara sauce. You know, well, he'd say marinara sauce. But I just call it a simple sauce. And I don't know if it's like gospel marinara, but this is the way I make it. You take, I already started because I didn't want to time. About a cup of chopped onions. I like to chop them um, fine. I mean, you know, good, but some people put like julienne uh, um, in there because I don't know why, but I just soon have them chopped up a little bit. I think they cook faster and also too, uh, I think the flavor comes out more. Now, once they're soft, you don't want them to burn. You cook them, you you. You fry them up in a um, couple tablespoons of olive oil, good olive oil. And um, as soon as they kind of are soft like this, they're soft now, they're good. Then put about, I like my garlic, so I put like four or five cloves of garlic in. Now, once the garlic starts to smell good, oh, you know, there's nothing better than the smell of garlic and uh and onions cooking, right? Garlic and onions. It's my grandmother. Okay, so um, while that's uh, do, you want to make sure you don't burn your garlic. There's nothing worse than burnt garlic. So you just want to get it fragrant. Baby, oh my own little one. Okay, so uh, here's all. Here's what you need. You need about one medium yellow uh, onion chopped up. Four or five cloves of garlic chopped up, some fresh basil, uh, and you can put a little oregano in there if you want. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a little oregano. And you need some tomatoes. Now, you can use fresh tomatoes. You can use canned tomatoes. But make sure you use San Marzano. Is that how you say it? San Marzano. Okay. And the reason I say that is because they just have a better taste. And you don't, have any, you don't have any meat in this sauce. You just have, you know, your your few little vegetables. You don't have any meat. It's So this is good for vegan people. Um, now, here's where I like to put a little salt. Once you got your, your uh, garlic and onions cooking. I like to put a little salt. And here's why. Because salt makes the onions a little bit sweeter. You know, I'm not a big fan of onions. I don't even like onions, but you really can't make a, a simple sauce without them, without the onions. You know, especially if you're, you're not using any meat. So that's what I do. Now, here's my little secret. I don't know. My dad used to do it. So that's why I do it. After you put your, you got your onions softened, you got your garlic um, softened, you put a little salt in there. Now, take a little nice red wine, and you just put a little bit of red wine in there. A little bit. <laughs> Not all of it, of course, because you want to drink some. Um, and that smells so good. And you just want to, you know... Um, you want to cook your onions and your garlic in that nice red wine. It just is delicious. It smells wonderful. And um, so while that's, you want to let that evaporate. So while that's cooking, I'm going to tell you, I don't know how to show you this. I had my tomatoes in this bowl, and then I used this little, I don't know what they call this thing, Cuisinart. It's a little uh, mixer-upper. And I... I turned them from tomatoes into more of a liquidy sauce so that they'll cook quicker. I like the chunks, so I did leave some chunks of tomatoes in here. You know, you'll see. I, I have a couple of chunks in there, but whatever way you want to do it is fine. Once that evaporates, then you can put your tomatoes in there. And I like to put some hot pepper. I also put black pepper in there. I like black pepper in there. And like I said, your basil and maybe a little oregano. You don't have to put oregano. A lot of people don't. But, oh, this smells so wonderful. I wonder if it's just because I like wine. Hmm.
Mm. There is nothing like a good red wine. You know that? Red wine makes me think of my grandfather. He used to make wine in the cellar. Yeah, I never knew what he was doing down there, but he was making wine. <laughs> and, um, and his wine was always so good. And he was always happy. <laughs> he was always happy because he was always drinking. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. I should have given some wine to my other grandpa. He was always kind of grumpy. Oh, well. And because my family watches this, I'm not going to say which grandpa I'm talking about. But if you're part of the family, you already know. <laughs> so now while that is cooking down, you got, I'm going to show you. You got, see? Oh, you can't because of all this darn um, heat coming up. But there you go. You marinated your... Uh, you, you not marinated. You you fried up your onions, your garlic, a little salt. Now you got your uh, red wine going in there. Now let's throw in the tomatoes. The tomatoes. I'll put it this way, then you can see what I'm doing here. Mm. Let's see. I got some. Um, I got some chunky and. Mostly sauce, because, you know, that's what you want. You know what happened? I got up this morning, and I had, uh, I have some leftover gnocchis. Nobody ever has leftover gnocchis, but I live alone. That's why I had leftovers. <laughs> but I have a little bit of leftover gnocchi, and I thought, what am I going to do with that? Because yesterday, when I had the gnocchi, I had it with, uh, I, I just threw some lentils and some, some broccoli and uh, made a little oil sauce. Oh, gee, it was so good. But I had left over, so I thought, all right, well, maybe I'll make a little sauce today. It is Sunday after all. So there's that. Now, here's your basil. Go like this with your basil. Somehow it just releases the, uh, the smell and the flavor. You do that. I do that with all of my, um, even dried. Now, this is the oregano, but I go like this. It kind of I don't know, releases the oils, whatever, who knows. And you want to get every little bit of that gorgeous stuff. And then you just let it cook. Oh, my gosh. It's already smelling so good in here. Um, I do like, do like to keep my place clean when I'm cooking. I'm a very messy cook, but I like to clean as I'm going. You know, so you don't end up with a huge mess afterwards. Now, I like to cook this down. So I will probably cook this, oh, maybe half an hour. Um, till it thickens up a little bit. And you, you know, I, I don't ever put tomato paste in it, but I, I guess you could. I don't know what the rules are. You know, here's the thing. When it comes to cooking, and I'm going to turn my heat down a little because it doesn't need to be. Boiling like that. Whoever designed this stove, they did such a stupid thing because you can't read unless you get right down and look at it. Okay, so now I got that on low. And I just want to tell you that, you know, today everybody is going to the web to find the best chef and what they can make and blah, blah, blah. And they, what I don't like, excuse me, about some of the more famous chefs is the ingredients are so crazy. Where are you going to find these ingredients? You know what I mean? Sometimes it's hard to even find what they, especially uh, the blonde-headed woman, I forgot her name, that went to jail for something. Martha, she's always got weird things in her food that you can't even find in the supermarket. The best way to cook is the way my family has always cooked. Fresh vegetables, fresh meat, homemade pasta, wine. I mean, just things you have around the house. I almost never plan my meal till I'm ready to eat. I'm like, I'm hungry. What do I want to eat? And then I open up the cupboards. I open up the refrigerator. Well, what have I got? Oh, there's a little bit of chicken. I'll chop that up. I'll put some beans in it, and I'll do this and do that. And, and I end up with a wonderful meal. And you can do that, too. The nice thing about this particular sauce is that you can use it for anything. I'm going to put it over those uh, gnocchis, but you could put it 
You could cook chicken in it. You could you could cook fish in it. This is wonderful because there's no meat flavor. It's just the flavor of the tomatoes and your few spices. You know, this is already looking delicious. Come on, oh, and i got to show you. Come on over here. Look at that. See? It's delicious already. It smells wonderful in here. I can't wait to eat it. All right, listen. Easy, simple sauce. You can make it anytime. Just get some really good t flavorful tomatoes, uh, garlic, onion, salt and pepper, a little wine. Uh, oh, and oh, oh, I put this hot pepper. I usually put this in while it's cooking. I love my hot pepper. Um, and that's it. It's so good. And you and you can put it in the refrigerator. It'll stay a good week and use it on everything. Okay, my name is Yvonne Conti, and uh, I think I'm going to put a few things on the web maybe once a week, stuff that I'm making, and uh, keep it fun. All right. Love ya.